What is good, everybody? Today we are here at San Diego Comic Con covering the Jazzwares AEW booth, man. And it's not a huge selection over here in the corner, but we are going to make our way over here to find out what the hell they have going on here. I have not had a chance to get the Kenny Omega, and I don't know if I'll actually have an opportunity to, but we're going to go over here and we're going to look at this corner over here of the AEW Jazzwares booth, man. It looks amazing. It's got this little mountainous thing going on over here, which I think is really, really cool. But we will uh, take a look, uh, take a detailed look at it. All right, man, starting out at the top it is just this corner man but look at this we have the belt strung out from the top and then they have this massive mountainous display of all the different figures going all the way from the top to the bottom i'd hate to be on the damn bottom down there i'm looking at you miro but you go all the way to the top and you will see you have swerve up top with a brand new unmatched bucks i think that's aw unmatched 10 young bucks in the orange which looks great have their tag titles in there, really good head sculpts on there without the tassels in their face, which is good. But I'm looking around and I'm just seeing new stuff all around. You have a new Orange Cassidy over here with a cloth goods backpack with a cloth goods jacket in black, which is a very unique look for Orange Cassidy over here, which I like. You have Tony Storm, and then you flip over to the other side, we do have a brand new Sting which just includes a shirt. I can't remember. I don't know what exact series that is, but we do have him on display. You have Christian. You have Ricky Starr. So we have the new Adam Hangman page, which I know a lot of people were not feeling this figure. I do like the gear, though. I think the gear is solid enough. You could switch the head sculpt out. But, I mean, dude, look at this mountainous display. I just like how it looks like zombies or something crawling all over each other. But one thing that popped me hard was Jay Lethal over here, man. Look at the cloth goods here on our Jay Lethal. Good-looking head sculpt from this angle as well. And look at the cloth goods on the pants and the jackets. Macho Lethal right here looking fantastic. I did not expect this. And I don't think it's been announced or talked about whatsoever. So that really popped me hard right there. We have Keith Lee. We have Brian Danielson. We're going to work our way to the middle. You have Wardlow fighting with Orange Cassidy. And then we do have a look at Adam Copeland, which is going to be our first edge from AEW and Jazzwares. He does have the rocker hands in there, the red and green gear. Really good looking formula and gear. I think it looks good, man. I think the paint apps look solid. Solid enough head sculpt. I think it's a good first edition of an edge figure here from AEW and Jazzwares. A of course, we'll have to wait and see what comes of it, but we do have the Blood and Guts Birdie King, I think, or that may be the Walmart exclusive. I can't remember off the top of the dome, but we do have our FTR figures going down on here. Chris Satlander, we have Buddy Matthews over here in the corner. Brian Danielson climbing up the mountainside there. You have Moxley falling off. You have Switchblade Jay White over here, which looks really good. That's the first time I've seen that in person, which I like a lot. And then we also have Alex Reynolds over there, which I've seen some people finding at Target. So maybe you want to hit up your Target stores. People are finding that wave and Alex Reynolds. We have our MJF here in gold with Dan Housen. We have the Walmart exclusive new Darby Allen sitting here on the edge, which I feel like he would be doing something, you know, doing something dastardly up here, but Moving along, we do have Chris Jericho. We have the ringside exclusive Jeff Jarrett. It looks like they're literally like hot glued to the damn thing. If you look at the Darby Allen, look up under his butt, he is hot glued to the damn edge. But look at the, you kind of have like a light coming through, like it's some sort of volcano lava or something, which is really cool. I don't know, I, I just really like the display a lot. Coming down, we also have Pac. We have Brody King down here again. We have the camo Ray Phoenix, which I can't remember if that was a two pack or by themselves. But I'm sure Penta's on the other side at some point. I haven't really had a good way of like looking through everything, but I wanted to get a good detailed look of this display before moving on. We have Brandon Cutler, which I think is a really underrated figure. I'm hoping I'll be able to, you know, get that in hand. But he does have the zebra print with the rainbow and ombre going through. Really like the shoes down there as well. You have Hangman behind him. And then we also have the Chase Brody King, I think is what that is, man. Sorry, some of the series are running together. But we also have the new unmatched Kenny. The colors look really, really good on here. He has that supreme head sculpt, which looks good. And even the little belt hang piece that's coming off looks great. We do have Austin Gunn over there, which looks great. I like the head sculpt, really looks like his father, so that's crazy. They are using Cody Rhodes boots, but I like that kind of dollar bill Statue of Liberty type tealish blue green color going on, which I think is really awesome. I like that a lot. And then we have Kyle O'Reilly right below that with Jamie Hayter. And then we have Samoa Joe in the green, which is from Unrivaled 15. We have Brian Cage here who's literally stuck in the mountain, coming out of the middle of the mountain, which I think is hilarious. You have Blood and Guts Kenny Omega climbing up on top of Adam Cole, which is the new unmatched figure in the pink. I like the Owen Hart Memorial Championship right there as well. And then we have Thunder Rosa over here with Anna J. We have MJF, the chase right there with the maskless head sculpt, and he's hanging onto the mask in this hand over here. I cannot believe they crushed Brian Cage, though. That's crazy. We have the Britt Baker Target exclusive down here. We have the Acclaimed. You have Ruby Riot over there falling off the mountain. You have Claudio looking like Superman with the damn cape on the back, kind of. You have Billy Gunn climbing up the side here. Coming back to the middle, we do have Wheeler Yuta, Blood and Guts. 
We have Malachi Black coming up the side of the mountain. We have the two-pack Mox over here with Chris Jericho. We have Wheeler Yuta again, and then we have Takeshita over here, kind of, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying, a little bit on, on uh, Daniel Garcia right there, but I really like the Takeshita. I like the formula going on right there. Kind of a plain Jane gear, but I do like the way the figure turned out. But here at the bottom, we do have the Blade, we have Powerhouse Hobbs, and we have Ricky Starks. But yeah, that, I mean, that is pretty much your display over here, man. A ton of figures on display, which I thought was really cool. And I just think it's a really unique look. But I think that on top you have Swerve and, and the Bucks up top, which I think is a really nice way to cap it off. So really cool display, not a ton going on, but it, I did want to make a video, you know, showcasing the entire display of the AEW Jazzverse figures here of what was new and what, uh, you know, is, is new and showcased. But I think the Jay Lethal is probably my favorite reveal out of all of these. But at the same time, you had, you had a few different things going on here, but I think the Jay Lethal probably popped me the, popped me the most. But I did like a few of the different things going on. Orange Cassidy with the Cloth Goods backpack is crazy. I think that's such an insane thing. He's got the title inside the backpack, so I'm sure you could probably put that with your Peter Parkers and Marvel Legends Spider-Man figures. But I think that is pretty much your display of the AEW Jazzwares booth here at San Diego Comic-Con for 2024. And then over here in this clear booth, guys, this Jazzwares booth, they have the Jazzwares vault that's see-through, which is really cool. I think that's a really cool display. And they have the one of 6,000 Briscoe Brothers 2-pack, the Ring of Honor Unrivaled 2-pack. They're going to come with the chains here. We have the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships. They have their trench coats in here. Really well done. I think these went up for pre-order today. I'm actually getting this clip in in day number two or three here. But both of them look really damn good. I mean, this might be the, uh, the some of the better figures that we see from AEW and Jazzwares this year. I think they look really, really clean. I think the head sculpts came out amazing. Really good likeness on both. Tag titles look amazing. Interchangeable hands look good. I mean, you're getting so much here. And I, unfortunately, you can't say the same for the Future Shock 2-pack that's over here between Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole. We did pick these up a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, and all they came with was interchangeable hands. But, unfortunately, they do not come with as much as the Briscoes over here, man. So, that is unfortunate. But then we have some more Jazzwares Vault stuff down here with Danielson and Kenny Omega. And then we do have the Death Triangle 3-pack over there, which is also very sweet. And we reviewed this on the channel and the Brian Danielson. But I like the Briscoes. This may be my favorite pair of reveals that we got over the entire AEW Jazzwares booth. <laughs> to make a trios pack with a golf cart. <laughs> we have Orange Cassidy, and with Orange Cassidy, we were like, how can we make this a little bit more special? So we called up OC, and we were like, can you give us some advice on how to make your next figure more special? So he's like, all right, I got the advice. Here's what I came up with. And so this is what it came up with the figure, very minimalistic. The international championship is actually scribbled by Orange himself, and it's in black and white. And for the packaging, very minimalistic, it matches by uh, Thank you, Chris, next for I mean, you can see, you can see the effort that Orange put into this, pretty much. Maximum effort. Maximum Orange. We honor the icon with the legacy of Sting 3 pack, featuring Surfer Sting, Joker Sting and the legendary Crow Sting. And so the honor of the legacy, the package is purposely shaped like a book to showcase each of the eras that he's wrestled in. All the face paint was done by my wife. Take a closer look at the package, uh, the, sorry, the color renders, uh, starting with Malachi, and then Buddy, and then our tiniest figure in the line, Brody. <laughs> what do you think? Does mine have a head tattoo? Our next uh, unrivaled supreme is John Moxley. Oh, we have a first look for you here for his figure, alongside all of his extra accessories, lots of hands, lots of grips. How expensive is John Moxley? Not as to, to make, John Moxley's about one third the cost of <laughs> yes. yes, but we sell a ton of yours, so listen. It's actually good special. And uh, it comes with a bunch of premium soft goods and uh, swappable legs. And here's a first look at the packaging. And for this next Supreme announcement, Samuel Brock Velasquez! 
Jasmine does come with the soft good robes, and more details will be coming through AEW by Jasmine, so please like and subscribe and follow. Thank you. Garden in Boston. 
Um, I can't believe this is my first ever AEW figure that looks like this. Thank you guys so much. I mean, not only do you get the fit, you get the dress, and the jacket, and the ring, the glasses, and look at the hair, guys. Look at the hair. I've never seen so much detail in a figure before, and I can't wait to get this. Is everybody going to get this 